What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We got a request. Leroy, thanks for watching and thanks for the request. We appreciate you. He wants a trap video, y'all. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you some of the most common stuff for traps first, and then we're going to go into the unique stuff later on. So stay tuned for the whole video. Check out the trap video unique moves. All right, so we did a trap video a long time ago. I'm going to show you some of that stuff. I'm going to show you some new stuff as well. As a kid, Goldberg was one of my favorite wrestlers, right? If you remember Goldberg, he had the monster traps. He came out <laughs> dancing around with those traps. I wanted those traps. So I immediately started shrugging, right? Shrugging's hit your upper traps. If you didn't know the anatomy, your trap's a huge diamond. It goes from the top of your back all the way down to the middle of your back. When you're doing shrugs, you're hitting the top part here. So, wanted to be like Goldberg. I crushed these things. <laughs> All the time I'd be shrugging, just wanting to blow the traps up. When you shrug, go all the way down, come all the way up and squeeze, like so. All the way down, all the way up. And there's no need to rotate your shoulders, no need to roll your shoulders like this. I don't know where that came from, but there's no need for that at all. Straight up, straight down, right? Traditional barbell shrugs. Alright, so exercise two as a kid, trying to get traps like Goldberg, dumbbell shrugs. Just like the barbell shrugs, except you have weight at your side now, right? The weight's not in front of you like on the barbell, it's at your side. Same movement, all the way down, stretch them down, up and squeeze. All the way down, up and squeeze. I hammered these all the time. Shoulder day, back day, I would want big traps, so I would hammer these suckers big time. And I would go, you know, you go to failure. If you truly go to failure on these, you're gonna burn all the way back up to the top of your neck. You're gonna be burning before you fail, right? Think about the range of motion. It's just from here to here. You can lift heavy weights and you can do a lot of reps, right? Right. All right, so two exercises for your Goldbergs. The <laughs> traditional barbell shrugs and then dumbbell shrugs, right? All right, stay tuned. We're going to start some unique. All right, so the first unique exercise I'm going to show you is called a reverse shrug. I don't know why they call it that. Instead of the bar in front, the bar's behind you now. So they call it a reverse shrug. So check her out. Bar is behind me. Well, you do the same movement. You're going to lean a little forward to counter the weight, but pull them straight up straight down. This is hitting a little bit of lower traps. You might be able to see that. Because of the angle, it forces you to hunch forward a little bit, which moves emphasis from the top of the traps down to the middle of the traps. Just like so. I really like this one actually. I do it a lot. I can feel it working all the way up to the top and down to my mid traps. It's a good one. Reverse traps, right? Reverse shrug, excuse me. <laughs> Just like so. All right. Reverse shrugs. All right, so the next unique exercise is called hunch shrugs. I got this from Mike Van Witt, believe it or not. What happens is you hunch forward just a little bit and you're doing your shrugs. We kind of hinted at it on the reverse shrugs. The more you hunch, the more the emphasis goes down to your lower traps. So you're gonna hit upper and mid when you hunch over like this, right? All right, check it out. So that's standing straight up like the Goldbergs. <laughs> you hunch forward, round your shoulders, and then bring them back and squeeze. Shrug them up and squeeze. Just like so. <clears throat> and you can feel this one's a little tougher you're obviously putting your lower back into play here a little bit, but you can really feel those traps working from the top down to the middle there. All right, if you watch Mike Van Wick, he's got hooks and he puts them on the dumbbells and he hooks them like so. I don't have hooks, this will work just as good. Check them out, hunch shrugs with the barbell. All right, so just like the barbell hunch shrugs, you have dumbbell hunch shrugs as well. 
So instead of going straight up like the Goldbergs, hunch yourself forward, round your shoulders, bring them back and squeeze. You got a little more range of motion with the dumbbells, obviously. There are free hands here instead of the rigid barbell being in both hands. So you can stretch that diamond out a little bit more and then bring it back. Right. When I say diamond, I mean your mid trap, lower trap. Stretch them out here, that's the haunch. That's stretching that diamond out and then squeezing it just like so. All right. All right. Don't double haunch. All right. So, so far we hammered upper traps or Goldberg, mid traps, so middle of diamond. So how are we gonna hit the lower traps, the bottom of that diamond in the middle of your back, right? Right, all right. I like to do cable strokes to hit the bottom of the diamond, bottom of your traps, your lower traps, if you will. All right, I like to take a wide grip here, sit up nice and straight, and all you gotta do is shrug, like that. You can squeeze and really feel the lower lats working, just like so. If you want, you can hunch here a little bit as well and pull them back. But again, that switches the emphasis to your upper and mid trap. If you're up straight like this, rolling towards your belly button, boom, now that's lower trap. Now I can squeeze that lower trap and work it like so. Boom. All right. It's a pretty unique one. You don't see very many people doing this. Again, most people when you say traps, they just think of here, Goldbergs, right? Right. But you got mid and lower traps as well. So make sure you don't neglect them so you get a full trap development, full trap workout. All right, y'all, that is a complete full trap video workout. Some tips I'm gonna give you. You can really crank up the weight on your barbell and dumbbell shrugs, especially upright to hit the upper Goldbergs, upper traps, right? In order to do that, wear your straps. You can probably shrug 500 pounds without straps, but over that, you're gonna need straps. You're only holding your traps back because they're a huge, strong muscle compared to your fingers. So if you aren't using straps, you're cheating yourself. You might wanna wear a belt as well. Talking about five, six, seven hundred pounds. Probably won't wear about. Just a recommendation. All right, so we did traditional barbell shrugs, straight up, straight down. Dumbbell shrugs, straight up, straight down. Again, that's for your upper traps, your Goldbergs, if you will. Then we went to reverse shrugs. Note of caution here: if you got a big booty, forget about it. You're not gonna be able to do these. Your butt's gonna get in the way, right? <laughs> All right, but and lean forward slightly on these, hitting a little bit of the lower traps, right? Then we went to the hunch shrugs, which really hits the mid traps. We did them on the barbell and the dumbbell. Just remember the dumbbell, you get a little more range of motion, a little more stretch, and a little more squeeze. And then we finished her off with the lower traps. The only exercise that can hit your lower traps is that cable shrug, right? Just pull it towards your belly button. If you start pulling it up towards your chest, it's gonna be upper traps. So keep it down, keep it low, and pull it towards your belly button in order to hit that bottom of your diamond or your traps there. All right, for more videos like this, check out our back or shoulder playlist. I'm not sure where we put traps at. Hey, <laughs> fitness, like and subscribe. <laughs>